Would you like to know a quicker way? Sure. This is a very typical way a lot of the students work on. They get into the slope intercept form and then they grab this one and then you, they use the slope. So once she grabbed this point, which is six seventh and zero, and then she went down five and then over seven units, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, a quicker way is to, to do this. You're realizing to draw a line in the two points, right? Yeah. Two points. It doesn't really matter which two points you have. You can have those two points. You can have those two points. You can have those two points. It doesn't really matter. So I could use this point and this point, or I can use this point and this point. Or if I want, I can use another point, this or this, right? Since so drawing a line, it doesn't matter which two points I have. I'm going to go out grab the two easiest point I can find. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay, you gotta slide it down a little bit so you can see what I see on the screen. Hmm. Just slide it down? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this equation to generate two points. By generating two points is I'm gonna give an arbitrary x then there's a y was spit out according to this equation. It's, this is my black box. Okay. Let's see if I put a zero in here. What well, y comes out so this equal sign still keeps together. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. So let's try. If we put a zero, this is our, my x, what y do I have to put in there? So this y fits in this equation. Try to solve it. What do you have? Six over seven. Very good. So what you did is five times zero plus seven y equal to six, right? This part yeah. goes away because five times zero is zero. And then 7y equal to 6. So you solve to y. y is 6 over 7. There's my first point. First point. A point has x coordinates and it has a y coordinate, right? Mm -hmm. And guess where that point is? That was this one. You see it? I'll put a different color. Um, let's pick a different color a big bright purple. That was this point. Do you see it? Yeah. On the line you draw? Mm -hmm. Right? So without doing any much to the equation, I got the first point without putting into the slope intercept form. So how many points do I need? You need two to make a line. That's right. So I'm going to go back to my box again. 5x plus 7y equal to 6, right? Yeah. I just need one more point. So I can either give another value for x, or if I'm lazy, hmm, what if I give y to be 0? And then I can have my x solved, because 7 times 0, the, this part goes away. I can just solve for my x, right? Mm -hmm. So what x has to go in there to make y equal to 0? 6 over 5. Okay, let's have you write it down here. Six. 6 over 5. Very good, okay? So now we have two points, right? This is my x. Yeah. This is why. This is my second point. Second point. Right? Mm -hmm. So I have my two points. I have everything I need. 
Now notice I didn't bother put the hex marks on, one, two, three, four, because I don't need a one here. I need a six over seven and six over five. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm gonna draw at it with a little bit of bigger scale. I have a one here, right? And mm -hmm. I have minus one here. See, I'm drawing the scale as I need it. I don't wanna waste time to put a hatch mark on with all the way to seven that I'm not gonna bother to use, right? Where is that first point? The zero, six, zero and six over seven. Can mm -hmm. you mark it? Mm -hmm. Let's mark it onto this graph. Where is it? Okay. That'd be zero, the y zero. And x is six over five. Uh-huh. Maybe here. Uh almost. Mm -hmm. My first point is uh you go after this one. You go after the second point. Which is fine. This is my second point, right? It's a little over one, and y is zero. So my second point is right over here where you said it is. Where is the other point? Y is equal to zero. Yeah, this is my second point, six over five and zero, that's second point. The first point is zero and six over seven. Remember we had way back here? If y is equal to zero, where it's y line, y zero, and x can be anything, like, all this stuff. What are those? I made the line y is equal to zero. Uh, no, you needed two points, right? You have one point that's here which is, mm -hmm. coordinate says 6 over 5, right, and 0. Remember earlier we solved another point. You might have to go up on your screen a little bit to see that point. Oh. You see it? You see where my marker is? No. My purple lines? Where I wrote the first point? Right there. Okay, where is this point on the graph? Zero, six, seven, seven. Oh, I see what you mean. So then, x is zero, and y is six over seven, about here. So where is it on this graph? Well, let me try. Oh, where, where is this graph? This point? Okay, I'm not sure what you're struggling with. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make this thing right. No, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking to graph this point out. The zero, six over seven. I'm not asking the rest. Okay, there we go. So that's the point, right? Now you have point one, you have point two, so all you have to do is draw the line. Draw the line. So now this one, I didn't bother to use the slope intercept form. How come I can still draw a line? Because you have two points, because you made them both zero. That's right. So, but what's, what's so special about zero? It's easy. Easy, that's right. I'm lazy but I have to be a laser at the right place, right? I have two points, mm -hmm. then I'm done. So slope intercept form, it's, it's okay to use, but it's actually more work, right? If you put in a slope intercept form, which you solved earlier, you had a y is equal to six. Right? Here's your slope, here's your slope. This chunk, right? This is your intercept. The intercept is actually this chunk, which is six over seven, right? Am I losing you? No. No? 
And then, then you have from this point, and you had to go down five and cross over seven before you can find another point on the line, which is if you extended this line, it's somewhere down here. Since we don't really care which two points, you can easily find the two points that's much easier to calculate it than counting your squares. Does that make sense? Now, if I give you some problem, let's say um, the slope intercept form becomes y equal to 6 over 7, okay? Minus, let's say, uh, give you a different slope. Let's say it's 5 over uh, 371 x. You're going to be counting squares for a while. Does that make sense? Yeah. What, what's becoming clear that wasn't there before? This way is easier. Why is it easier? Well, first of all, you have zero, and you make your own point. You uh -huh. know exactly what you need. 